Thank you for clicking on the video. What is up, gamers? Today we're playing some Samson. Ooh, I like Monstro. Gimme, gimme. That's a good start. Been a while since I've had like a really, really good start, right? I like that Monstro. We also get a false PhD here. Today we're doing third dead god progression. I know, it's insane. What? Typically, I only do third dead god progression on stream, right? So for my third dead god, I said to myself, ah, you know, every single time I do a run, I'm gonna do it on stream just because, you know, it's fun that way. But this time I'm recording it and I have a good reason. I promise you I have a good reason because today's gonna be a little bit of a different kind of video. We actually have to go all the way, I think, to Mother. Yeah, so we're gonna do something really different today. Samson to Mother. And it's gonna be a, a bit of a story. Honestly, a story about what's been going on in my life because some crazy things have been happening. <laughs> and I thought I would share it because I thought it would turn into, a, I don't know, something funny you guys can laugh at. We have a second treasure room already here. We get slipped rib. I think this is a bit underrated. It honestly brocks a lot. Brock? Oh my god. Bro refuses to speak actual words. But honestly, yeah, in general, slipped rib is uh, pretty good. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, you should, by the way, you already know a bit of this story. Not all of it. You'll miss some details that I'll cover right now, but you'll understand what I'm probably about to cover. So a bit ago, I saw a comment saying, hey, Matt, since your power goes out so often, because I mentioned this in my video sometimes, Times that my power just randomly kaputs. Boom! Lights out, idiot! Uh, I'll take that Diplopia if I can afford it. Do I get a lucky bomb? I do! Wow, yeah, we're taking a Diplo, thank you. And since my power goes out pretty consistently, they mentioned that I should buy a no break. And a no break is uh, effectively just a power supply, a backup power supply for your PC. So, you know, let's say the, the house goes out, it runs out of power. My PC will not immediately shut off. I can hit stop recording and save everything before, uh, you know, I run out of power. Very cool. Shout out to that guy's comment. I don't remember your name, but I'll remember you forever in heart. I really appreciate you. Now that was all good and all, and I found a solution for that. And by I, I mean you guys. You guys are sick. But recently, I came across something that I didn't think I would have to, like, ever deal with. <laughs> Which I don't know why I thought I was invincible to this, because everyone goes through it at least once in their life, I feel. But my internet provider just went, uh, kaput. We've had times where the internet goes out, and, you know, maybe lasts, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, sometimes even two hours. But this one, this one was <laughs> extra special. I reward for this is rotten meat. I'd like to go to the secret room and then the devil room actually. I'll go devils today. That could be fun. If I find brimstone with this monster's long, that would go pretty hard, I think. Little horn is done though. Speedball. Let's go devils. We get oh honestly little horn wait, little horn? <laughs> Dude, I defeated Little Horn and I literally got the boss drop Little Horn. I'm playing a different video game right now. Uh, I'd absolutely love to go down for. So yeah, our internet went out. And I was thinking to myself, oh man, that kind of sucks. But it's not the biggest deal on Earth. You know, Isaac is an offline game. Well, <laughs> up until, you know, recently, it's going to be so exciting, guys. <laughs> But, you know, generally, it's a single-player offline game, no problemos. I'm gonna take this eyesore. So I thought to myself, ah, no problem. I will simply just play whatever and continue on. That was until I went to the Steam Workshop and I saw, uh-oh, oh, what, you stupid idiot, what are you thinking is gonna happen? <laughs> At that point, I thought to myself, wait, this is not gonna work. I wanted to play the uh, the Sheriff mod for the longest time, uh, but I was unable to because I can't download it. So I thought, okay, well, we'll just play without mods. I'll just play a regular run. It should be no problem whatsoever. And then what happens when I start editing? <laughs> I start editing and I try and find like an image from Google or something. You know how I put up stock images and I, I just have fun. Make a little meme for you guys with Isaac Sprites. And I, I go to Google and I'm like, wait a second. I'm noticing a pattern here. This isn't going to work. Hubert. Congratulations, you now have hair. Uh, I really want card reading. If I can afford, we'll take it if I can. So I'm beginning to think of different solutions for my problem. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need internet. In order to do my job, which is make content for you guys, yes, I can record just fine, but I need to upload the video. And I also need to edit it. So what should I do? So me thinking I'm super duper smart, I decide to buy a laptop. That way I can take that laptop to a public area that has public Wi-Fi and start just doing my job. Now the only place that really sells anything near me is Target and that's not an exaggeration. The next place that has maybe decent computers is maybe like 30 minutes away and I was already in a rush. I woke up at I think 5 a.m. I give these eye drops and then oh, oh I, I want to take that. Uh, let's take it for free, right? No reason to spend any hearts on it. 
Give me you, and give me you. Yeah, so there's nothing near me, so I looked up, okay, when is Target open, and when is Starbucks open? And I saw that they both opened at around 8. I think Starbucks opened earlier, but I don't know how when, like, the lobby opened, so I didn't want to risk it. So I drove over, I woke up at, like, 6 a.m., I made sure I was completely ready, I waited in the parking lot for a bit, and then Target opened, and I went inside. I asked the guy, hey, can you please open this little cabinet that has, you know, the laptop in it? And I opened it up, and I ended up buying a Chromebook. Now, I've never had a Chromebook before, but I have to say, guys, if you're ever in the position that I'm in, do not buy a Chromebook. <laughs> For what I learned afterwards was a complete tragedy. So what ended up happening is when you have a Chromebook, which is a Google product, you literally can't use it. Oh, nice small rock. Unless you connect to the internet. <laughs> and then connect your Google account. I didn't know this, M my bad, sorry. You would think it would be completely fine because I'm trying to go to Starbucks, right? So uh, it'll just work, no big deal. I'm gonna have Wi-Fi, but you can't use public Wi-Fi. I would get an error saying, hey, your connection is not private. We can't set up your PC. We can't do anything right now. You need to be on a private server or whatever the heck. Uh, when we fight this clog, we're gonna get probably a fat devil item, so I'm super excited. What are we gonna get? Our damage is so nasty, by the way. Uh, dark bomb, we take, absolutely, thank you. Starting off, let's go to the secret room right away. We'll grab ourselves a bomb, golden chest, some extra pickups, nothing too crazy, but not underappreciated. So the laptop strategy is kind of a bust, right? And I'm sitting at that Starbucks and I'm just kind of like, oh man, this sucks. It's probably around, I wanna say like 9, 10 a.m. at this point uh, arcade analog stick i'm gonna spend all my money here just because i feel like it oh that's pretty good uh next item is only night light i don't care about it too much i just wanted the small tears up from analog you've never seen a bigger analog play in your life i guarantee you the first time that item's ever been actually properly used <laughs> but i'm thinking to myself man what am i gonna do if i go home right now what will I do? That what? Like lab in like a practice range for a fighting game? I play Team Fortress 2? I literally can't. I don't have internet. I would just beat myself up over the head constantly thinking I didn't try hard enough. So I say to myself, okay, whatever. I go back to Target <laughs> and I, I tell a different person, can I buy a different laptop? I'm glad it was a different person, by the way, because if I asked the same person to open the cabinet buying a second laptop, I'm almost certain that they thought I'd be crazy. I thank absolute God and the universe that they didn't let that one happen. I buy a different laptop. This time it is an HP Intel. It's a better UI, in, oh, in my opinion, right? I guess it's just a UI that I recognize. Not that weird Chromebook thing. No offense to Chromebook users, but I just simply don't understand what I'm looking at and things are looking a lot better I, I go get some coffee and I'm holding my laptop like under my arm uh, and like the armpit right and the barista asks you know hey how's your day going you know some small talk I'm like eh, you know the day's been kind of crazy to be honest with you I had to buy this laptop so I could edit a video and they're like oh wait what that's crazy what uh, so that little small talk kind of cheered me up that was really nice shout outs to them uh, treasure room stigma is just a solid option not gonna take a risk here and then compass in here I don't have the money for looks like we might have Gideon also but on Honestly, talking while fighting Gideon is way easier than actually focusing on the Gideon fight. I don't know if that makes sense, but you're gonna see. I probably no hit Gideon right now because I'm just gonna rant. So I boot open the HP product, and this is when I start, I think, talking on Twitter and posting about like, hey, uh, this is what I'm working with right now, the wrinkly dinklage of laptops. And then when it finally boots open, oh, we all know I was coping, by the way, when I said I was gonna no hit Gideon, right? <laughs> when it finally boots open, I try to connect to the internet again, and it doesn't work again and i'm like what i don't understand but it was different this time see when i try to connect to the internet with the hp laptop it didn't say your connection is not private you know we can't do this it was just like a black browser like nothing was loading so you know i opened it up but i had no uh, page saying hey you need to sign in to actually access the starbucks wi-fi so i thought i was kind of boned i checked twitter for a while i look back at the laptop and and the page is there after a long time, it just took a while, I guess. So I'm delivered with a lot of hope and I'm thinking, oh my God, I can actually do it. How wrong I was. <laughs> After connecting to the internet, I open up the laptop and it might just be the slowest thing I've ever used. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I gotta download Premiere. I gotta download Adobe Creative Cloud. I gotta download Photoshop. I have to download maybe OBS, some different things. But me even trying to simply download Discord, 
just so I can access the little folder that I have stored with Alex where we have uh, completed videos done. It was an absolute hassle, clicker's useless, and I think the download might have taken an hour of me just sitting there and doing nothing, twiddling my thumbs, waiting for Discord to download. I finally download Discord and I try to start downloading the video so I can begin editing it and it says it's gonna take like 13 hours to a whole day. It's not looking too good. I also try Premiere Pro and I get somewhere with it and it starts installing and it starts installing and the percentage is going up and it hits 100% and then the craziest thing happened. <laughs> The moment it was done, after maybe two hours of waiting, it said, Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, your laptop's just not good enough. It just, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I am demoralized. I, I want to die at this point. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It is so over. I'm gonna make a post on YouTube. You know, I'm gonna tell people, hey, I won't be able to upload. I promise you, I really tried, guys. It's just so way too hard to get this video out. But I, I don't, I don't give up. I don't. So the first laptop can't connect to the internet. The second laptop literally can't edit videos. So I call my girlfriend and I say, you know, I'm kind of out of ideas. And she says, why don't you go to Luis's house? Luis being the person that does all, you know, all the cool animations for my videos whenever he gets a chance to edit. And I live not close to Luis, to be honest with you, about an hour away, but I had no choice and I was determined. So I drove an hour after failing that Starbucks debacle. Uh, to Staples, because he was working at Staples at the time, uh, to pick up his house key so I could access his uh, whole PC. At the same time, while at Staples, I decided to buy a third, <laughs> a third laptop. This one actually being a halfway decent, not an i3 potato PC. You know the type of PC, right? The, the i3 potato PC that can only run like The Binding of Isaac and Wizard 101. And you're really into Nintendo, so you try and find an indie game and you find this really cool game called Super Meat Boy and you go down a whole pipeline eventually finding Northern Line and the whole Binding of Isaac deal. You know, the, it's the whole pipeline, you know what I mean? So instead of working with that PC, I buy a new one from Staples, I get the house key, and I go to Luis's place. I speed edit. I speed edit that video. That was, I believe, the Ori Halloween video, which is why that came out, I, I want to say, at like 4 p.m.-ish. It was a bit late, and, and that's the reason why, because I had that whole uh, thing. Honestly, I'm surprised it came out as early as it did. I was thinking like 5 or 6 p.m. Anyway, videos uploaded. I feel much better. I'm like, you know what? You guys got the content you deserve. I feel happy. Let's chill out. I hang out with Luis for a bit. We play some sets of Tekken. I try and teach him a little bit, even though I uh, don't know too much. And everything is good. We go home. Until everything wasn't good. <laughs> At about 4 p.m. while I was editing, and I think I was just about uh, done uploading, I'm told that, hey, the internet at the house is finally back. That's about 24 hours of internet downtime. I, I don't know if it was 24. It was close, like maybe 20 plus, right? So I was like, oh my god, it's finally over. Thank you. I get home. An hour drive back home. And I just want to lay down. I just want to rest for a second. Just a second. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm so excited. I'm gonna take this fat nap. I'm gonna wake up and I, I'm gonna play the sheriff mod that I really wanted to play. And I, I'm, I'm no longer have anxiety because I did have anxiety. You know why? Because I have no internet. And what if the Isaac Online update comes out the next day? I don't know. I'm freaking out. I'm so scared. But I, my anxiety calms down. I'm like, you know what? It's fine. We have internet. I'll be able to play the update. Two hours pass and I uh, end up waking up from my nap and the internet goes out again. <laughs> what is this? Oh! It has been a hot minute. Thank you, C-section. This is the exact type of run I needed for this commentary, by the way. This is sick. Instant boss room as well. Should I just go fight? Um, I, yeah, why not actually? So the internet goes out again, and I'm thinking to myself, if it took about 20 hours for it to turn back on the first time, it's not gonna go down for only an hour. It's gonna be a while again. But just in case, I, I wake up from my nap and I'm like, okay, the internet's off. I'm just gonna stay up. What if it goes back? What if it turns back on? I need to be prepared. I think I go to sleep at maybe 2 a.m. I think I tweeted something out at 2 a.m. and someone was like, why are you up at 2 a.m.? <laughs> Well, now you know why. It was because I was checking my internet constantly so I could know the moment it was available so that I could eventually download the mod that I wanted to play and record it. But nothing happened and I, I decided, okay, how about I just go to sleep right now and if the internet's back, great. 
wonderful. If it's not, I will just have to go to Luis's place again. I wake up and it's not back, unfortunately for me. Wait, I completely forgot. I did an extra thing. Okay, so you know how I bought the third laptop, right? What I thought to myself, what, what the reason I was able to stay up so late until 2 a.m. is because what I did is I said, hey, what if I take my good laptop and drive outside of Starbucks at like uh, whatever time it is, super late, and I just try and leech off their internet and I slowly but surely download Isaac OBS and I can record, then I can record. So I drive over to the outside parking lot of a Starbucks and I sit there and I have to say, I cannot thank Isaac enough for being so goaded and being such a tiny video game because this game's only like one gig and it actually took an hour and a half to download. But we managed to do it. Uh, at that point, I decided to come back home and then I did the whole like, okay, I'm gonna go to sleep right now. If I wake up, I wake up. I decided, okay, let's go to Luis's place because it's just not gonna come back. So if this ever happens again, uh, at least I have Isaac in and OBS installed on my laptop. So, I, you know, I can do something. I'm prepared this time. But we go to Luis's place a second time. The moment I arrive, I'm told the internet is back. I'm like, well, god damn it, okay. <laughs> I edit the video, and I think this is the Andromeda video. Uh, at Luis's place, I upload it. I go back home. Now, everything should be okay. I, I think. Uh, uh, these all kind of suck. Blind? Ah, yeah, I'll take it. So I'm not gonna lie. I got kind of boned the entire, the entire time. <laughs> but that's all just to say that just know, all right? Just know that I will do anything and everything in my power to make sure that you guys get the content that you deserve. Because I know what it feels like. I, I, I Like, okay, when I was super duper young and I used to watch like Markiplier every single day because he used to upload daily, right? And there would be a day where he doesn't upload. I'd be super sad. No hard feelings against him. I would still watch his content. Don't get me wrong. I don't I don't care. But I would still be kind of disappointed. I, I don't want to give that feeling to you guys whatsoever. I, I, I really did try. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't get it out sooner. I I know 4 p.m. is kind of late for some of you guys, but just know, just know, don't worry. I will not be giving up that easy. The universe can't give me that kind of challenge and don't think that I'm, I'm going to retaliate because I will. If the Isaac online update comes out and the internet goes out again, you know what I'm going to do? I'll, I'll take my, I took my laptop. I'll plug in my mic. I'll go to an internet cafe. I'll, I'll, I'll film it at Luis's place. I'll do anything. We get a mom fight here. That's pretty good. Take the damage up, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought that I forgot the knife piece and I freaked out, but it's okay. I haven't fought Mother in so long, so sometimes, you know, I forget to do the whole mom shadow sequence. Gimme, gimme, let's go. So, wow, that's really lucky. Yeah, I did feel kind of demoralized. I, I'm not gonna lie. I really, I was like, man, the world is beating me down. But I persevered, and that's all to say that nothing, nothing will stop me from trying to play the Binding of Isaac. You cannot break my spirit. No matter how much you try, universe, you're done for. I'm sorry, you're also done for. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that interaction. I guess I never took Vanishing Twin to Mother. Spun progress is awesome. Massive stats up, tears down we don't need. This devil room has succubus we take for free. Let's go. And that's, uh, that's also why I'm kind of doing a, a dead god, right? Because this is something you can do without internet connection, and I thought it would be appropriate. Right now, I do have internet connection. Finally. Thank Jesus. But I thought it would still be kind of fun to just, I don't know, talk about what's been going on. Maybe you're wondering, hey, why are these videos like an hour later than I'm used to? Or way later than I'm used to? Uh, that's why. But now everything is good. Edmund, go ahead and release the update. I'm ready for it this time. I have internet, and I will be playing. Oh, by the way, about the update, I saw a, a, a Tyrone, he posted like a, a little tweet about the update and they were saying that everyone has like mini HP HUDs and they look really good. I, I hope that we see more of that. They're going to be updating us more and more often about what uh, new quality of life changes we'll be getting. So uh, keep tuned for that because I'll update you guys. But yeah, there's a little mini heart HUD. I'd like to have that in the base game because that just looks kind of good to be honest with you. Mother's done. I'm sure we unlocked something. I don't have all the things memorized. Isn't this the M20 trinket, I think? Double check. Oh, I unlock bloody gust oh well, my bad <laughs> well yeah ggs guys i'm back